After finding these cute canvases, I decided they would make good spray paint cans because that makes perfect sense. So I created a stencil and I made two reds, two blues, and two yellows. You guessed her, Chester, the primary colors. This is like my new favorite way to paint. Paint things flat and then just add that little bit of a highlight with black and white and voila, it's like it magically comes to life. So after cranking these guys out, which didn't take too long, I then decided to add them to my art room wall. I have no idea why I decided to paint them on canvases instead of directly on the wall, other than the fact that the canvases were a really great size and super cute. And, you know, maybe I'll take them with me someday when I go? Who knows? I went in the next day and at first tried spray paint as a part of my design. That was a huge mistake because spray paint literally sprayed everywhere. So instead of spray paint, I then decided to use actual paint, painting with the secondary colors to kind of give the illusion of spray paint. I kind of tacked the cans up with some blue dap just to hold them in place. But once I knew where I wanted them to go, then I hot glued them to the wall. So they are pretty much there to stay forever and ever. Again, I used the black low light and the white highlight to really make them stand out. You can see I've covered up my mistakes with the wall paint, which is what you see all over the wall there. Let's hope it dries and blends in. So thanks for letting me share. Super stoked. Found the canvases at Michael's and did not ask permission to paint on the walls first. So fingers crossed they don't get in trouble. Anyway, talk to you guys soon.